Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. In this session, we'll be exploring the concept of isolation transformers. We'll also take a closer look at a simulator circuit that demonstrates the functioning of an isolation transformer. By the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of isolation transformers and their importance in electrical systems. So, let's get started. An isolation transformer is a device that plays a vital role in electrical systems by providing electrical isolation between the input and output circuits. It consists of two windings, the primary and secondary windings, which are electrically separated but magnetically coupled. The primary winding receives the input voltage, and the secondary winding delivers the output voltage. The key aspect of an isolation transformer is that it prevents any direct electrical connection between the input and output sides, ensuring safety and protection against electrical hazards. Why are isolation transformers essential? Let's discuss a few reasons. Electrical safety, isolation transformers are widely used to improve electrical safety in various applications. By creating a barrier between the input and output circuits, they prevent the risk of electric shocks and protect both people and equipment. Ground loop elimination, ground loops occur when multiple devices or systems share a common ground connection, resulting in unwanted circulating currents. Isolation transformers break the ground loop path, effectively eliminating these circulating currents and minimizing the risk of electrical noise and interference. Voltage regulation, isolation transformers can help regulate voltage levels. By adjusting the turns ratio between the primary and secondary windings, the output voltage can be increased or decreased, ensuring a stable and consistent voltage supply to connected devices. Noise reduction, isolation transformers can act as a barrier to electrical noise and interference. They attenuate common mode noise, which is noise that appears between the neutral and ground lines. By isolating the input and output circuits, they prevent the transmission of such noise and provide cleaner power to sensitive equipment. Now, let's dive into our simulator circuit to gain a more practical understanding of how isolation transformers work. In our simulator circuit, we have an isolation transformer with the following specifications. Input voltage, 10 volts AC with a frequency of 50 Hz. Primary inductance, 100 Henrys. Turns ratio, N1 by N2 equals 1, indicating equal number of turns on both primary and secondary windings. Coupling coefficient, 0.999, which indicates a high degree of magnetic coupling between the windings. Output voltage, 9.97 volts AC. A resistor connected to the secondary winding with a value of 1 kilo ohm. Let's walk through the operation of our simulator circuit step by step. Input voltage, we start with an input voltage of 10 volts AC and a frequency of 50 Hz. This alternating current is applied to the primary winding of the isolation transformer. Primary inductance, the primary winding's inductance, which is 100H in our circuit, plays a crucial role. As the input voltage changes, the inductance resists the rate of change of current in the winding. This inductance helps smooth out any fluctuations in the input current. Turns ratio, the turns ratio of 1 is N1 by N2 equals 1, indicates that the number of turns on the primary and secondary windings is equal. This ratio affects the voltage transformation between the primary and secondary sides of the transformer. In our case, the output voltage is measured at 9.97 volts AC. The turns ratio determines the voltage step-up or step-down capability of the isolation transformer. In our scenario, since the turns ratio is 1, the output voltage remains close to the input voltage, with a slight reduction due to losses in the transformer. For coupling coefficient, the coupling coefficient of 0.999 indicates a high degree of magnetic coupling between the primary and secondary windings. This means that most of the magnetic field generated by the primary winding is effectively transferred to the secondary winding, resulting in efficient energy transfer between the windings. 5. Secondary winding in load. The secondary winding of the isolation transformer is connected to a resistor with a value of 1 kilo ohm. 
This resistor represents a load that draws current from the secondary side of the transformer. The load could be a device or a circuit that requires a specific voltage to operate correctly. 6. Electrical Isolation The primary purpose of an isolation transformer is to provide electrical isolation between the input and output circuits. By maintaining this isolation, the transformer ensures that any electrical faults or disturbances on the input side do not affect the output side. This protection is vital in sensitive applications and helps prevent damage to equipment and ensures the safety of individuals. Isolation transformers are fundamental components in electrical systems, providing electrical safety, noise reduction, and voltage regulation. In this video, we explored a simulator circuit to understand the working principles of an isolation transformer. We discussed the importance of electrical isolation, the role of primary inductance, turns ratio, and coupling coefficient in the transformer's operation. By using an isolation transformer, we create a safe and stable electrical environment. It protects connected devices or systems from potential hazards, electrical noise, and ground loops that could occur in the input circuit. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into isolation transformers. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos. See you next time.